story begins in 2015 when i had just completed my 12th standard i was at my home playing games when a cousin came in and asked why don't i make some apps instead of playing games at that moment i didn't give it much thought but later i felt i should learn how to make an app so i started to learn i got started with a tool called mit app inventor it's a drag and drop based tool that helps build android applications by this time i got an admission in electrical and electronics engineering while i was there in the engineering college i started to make simple applications The first application that I made was a CGPA calculator to calculate grade points from grades. And uh, this was a new university and nobody knew how to calculate the grade points. So I thought why don't I make an app for that? I shared it with my friends once I completed building the app and few of them found useful. Some of the seniors saw the app and wanted me to make another calculator for them. But this calculator was to uh, calculate the energy consumed in a house by the equipment used in the, used there. This also was made uh, using MIT App Inventor itself. By this time I was pretty comfortable with uh, MIT App Inventor and uh, and wanted to try some uh, code based tools instead of no code. So uh, I began to look how to make similar application but with Android Studio. It was a very hard process in the beginning because I did not know what I did not know what I was doing. I was just copy pasting code from the internet and trying to make things work, but most of the time it failed. So I wanted to learn more about how things work in the internet. So uh, I started with a course called Introduction to Modern Application Development. It's an NPTEL course. It gave me a small base on how things work and helped me get started with Node.js. By this time, I got a chance to attend Smart India Hackathon. It was a huge deal for me and my team because we had never been or seen a, a hackathon. It was the first time us attending one. We had to make an application within 36 hours of the hackathon. In uh, in that time period, we didn't even come close to completing that. but it was a lot of fun it was a huge experience for me because it helped me got started with uh, firebase and uh, web hosting deploying website websites on firebase and all those things i was able to learn from this hackathon and the preparation for this ha- hackathon after returning from this hackathon one of my teachers asked me if i could make an attendance management system for the college so i thought i could um, do it but i didn't even come close to that uh, that project was way uh, way above my league Uh, my uh, the my skill level were here and the project level was here there was a huge gap of what i what i could what i could do and what i knew and this uh, this was just too much pressure for me uh, and this uh, and this project uh, literally burned me out because i was unable to uh, like uh, do things make things uh, even uh, make some like notable progress in that application Uh, and uh, after burnout i i was not even able to pick up the laptop for a while uh, it it took uh, it took a lot of time to recover from that. so that's the one thing i want to change if i had to start over which is take projects that uh, that are just above just one step above above your skill level and not just take any mammoth project that will burn yourself out so uh, if I, what i think is if i had not burnt out i could have uh, like gain more skills uh, incrementally instead of going for an exp- exponential growth it took some time for me to come back to coding i slowly started to build small small applications that were just uh, a little bit ahead of uh, my skill level th- uh, thus pushing my like what i knew i slowly started to learn uh, make more and more application even my final year project was a mixture of hardware and software uh, software parts so that i could balance both part of my uh, life uh even my teachers uh, in college were very supportive of uh, what i was lo- doing and exploring so uh, one of my teachers saw that i had uh, like uh, skills in um, software development so when one one of our friends were hiring she suggested me to uh, that position so i that's how uh, i i got an internship uh, in a company in the internship i tried to solve uh, some of the internal problems using web apps and during this sa- this same time i started working on my portfolio and build a simple application and hosted it on firebase so both of these combined show uh, help me show to the company that uh, i i i need to be in development and not in operations so uh, by this uh, company saw that i had skills in development so they moved me to a software developer job so uh, that's how i landed my f- first job as a software engineer now it's been 2 years since i have been a software engineer it was a long journey but it only gets better